So, YouTube family, we know everything about straight drop already. This situation tied into the Young Dolph case updates everything we could relate to it we know all the players involved allegedly even the ones not we're not gonna get into that we know the ones that the news done shown and showed it to the whole world we know the alleged steppers we know the streets what's going on but we're gonna keep it focused and remember none of my videos get nobody indicted none of my videos get nobody in trouble yeah we do this the strategic way but straight drop got more problems than dropping the soap in that yayo house right now your own brother we know already is taking the plea deal jermarcus johnson it's no secret over a month ago he folded i mean it is what it is he folded because the pressure came through and the pipes did get busted as you can see in the news right here everything in that was going smooth and you would think everything was real cool but then he finally was accepting the plea deal and it's not breaking news i'm gonna show you why we're doing this video but let's go to when he accepts that plea deal Good morning the shelby county da new information tonight one of the men accused in the 2021 murder of memphis rapper young Dolph faces a new charge with a possible plea deal on the horizon Jamarcus Johnson appeared in the Shelby County courtroom this morning. The Shelby County DA's office said Johnson now faces three new charges of accessory after the fact. That's in addition to a previous charge of conspiracy to commit first degree murder. The DA's office also said a plea deal is anticipated here. Now what happened, how they got the plea deal on Jamarcus Johnson straight drops brother was easy add extra charges and pile them up and make it count you heard them 16 to 60 years in prison minimum 16 and you thinking huh yes he gave up his own little brother he admitted everything and said his brother was the shooter he helped them out get away x y and z and it's crazy what evidence did the cops showed jamarcus behind the scenes now this is another creepy thing you need to think about was jamarcus threatened by the said so person who made his little brother do it we're not going to get into that we know people want to tie cmg and all i'm not doing that but we know what we're talking about did he get threatened so things can get tied up and loose ends can get loose because a lot of people are saying that when your family gets threatened and other people who got nothing to do with nothing then you will fold on any account no matter if it's blood or not so i'm looking at deep into the case with the Dolph case and it's like bro a lot of things ain't adding up it looks way too easy and you think it's that way back in november 22 you know i'm talking about recently when Dolph died everybody told me i'm exaggerating it's nobody's gonna tell people it's 10 toe at bro they always tell everybody and some of them are not gonna even be on paper there's a lot of paid informants in your neighborhoods right now there are ci's even dudes who are not ci's they just know officers here and there and they need points to get out of here and there they're gonna tell such and such and you know dudes on the block ends up saying a lot but let's go deeper into this now jamarcus johnson gave up straight drop what was uncomfortable with the situation when he gave up straight drop was how he gave him nobody gives up their brother like that they do snitch on each other but not the way you just seen that what pressure was applied we know Dolph case goes deeper than what you can name it goes so deep so many players involved that a lot of people are getting gunned down the streets the young Dolph murder case the man accused of putting a hit out on the Memphis rapper now out on bail. Hernandez Govan's bond was $90,000. Both sides agreed to bond with the prosecution saying the state wants to more clearly define the role Govan played in the conspiracy. 
bonding out. Forgo Bond comes with some rules. He'll be on house arrest and he can only leave for medical reasons or to meet his attorney. That's and right. Young Javon, he got let go, but that don't mean the, the road meets the road. Will he be telling? I personally think he's going to be giving up information. My personal feeling because how did you get a minimum ninety thousand dollar bond and you get to be sent home during a prominent case like this it's a lot of fishy things but that are not really fishy that we know but the motion for hernandez javon was filed in shelby county court thursday stating an agreement to post the bond at ninety thousand. this is kind of a month old news but we're bringing it up to show you the attachment when more people start seeing this, it will be more folding. I'm showing you the tactics that 12 does. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is a tactic by Memphis police. It's to get the main players they want. I personally feel who they're gunning for. My personal feeling is the head honcho of the music label. And we're not going to get into that. And another rapper who no longer is part of that label. And maybe that part two was a strategic move for that rapper who left the label. But then you look at the connections. Now, I like Big Homie. Big Homie raps good. He makes Memphis looks good. But people keep bringing up the video he did with Justin Johnson straight drop. Now, I think that video was a great video. You know what I'm saying? And by the way, salute to Memphis Seafood straight drop. A lot of people were telling me they've seen straight drop owns a restaurant. I don't know if that's his restaurant or not. Somebody told me it got nothing to do with straight drop. So we wanted to make sure to show the restaurant so y'all don't bother these people like y'all did Macadies cookie shops or whatever. Because unlike the cookie shop, the Memphis Seafood Spot, which is finger licking good they got nothing to do with none of that they just so happen to be named straight drop we had to do that i wanted to help them out with that because somebody told me they've been getting bombarded with dumb people who's messing up this case now let's get on with the show now with straight drop i want to know will he be the one to tell us was it the record label ceo head honcho folks in them that gave them the money to diplomatically get rid of young Dolph and I say diplomatically because young Dolph is not no regular schmo he is a prominent figure in the city not just a name and a rapper he has from hundreds of properties foundations he does a lot for the city so the way he got taken out was not admirably at all even street dudes can't respect that the way they killed him now people are going to say street dudes will respect it but if it was so respectable why so many people on this case are talking or snitching like it ain't nothing bro i'm talking about buttery rose like right your own brother sold you out y'all need to let that sink in his own brother like he loves his brother so he even helped his brother escape why would he then flip on him like i said loose ends are being tied up in this case you need to pay close attention to it that's why i'm doing this update people are just taking it as black and white and it's deeper than that don't do young Dolph a disservice by saying, oh, everything is working perfect. Everything has justice. If you have respect for young Dolph, open your eyes and look at it in a whole. Even if you do get Jovan or Hovan, whatever his name is, and even if you do get straight drop and the other suspect that they got, you really believe it was only three people involved in this well orchestrated killing? Ladies and gentlemen, this is deeper than a conspiracy. This is get back in the worst way ever. And Dolph, unfortunately, was very easy as a target to get. He was, But the unfortunate part is Dolph knew how to move. He knew he was an easy target. So who gave the drop? No pun intended to straight drop. Who gave the location? So we still believe someone at the cookie shop informed straight dropping them. He's over here. My personal opinion. I'm not putting it on the cookie shop or not, but do you know what your employees do? Do you know them when they get off work? So please, y'all, save me to despair. But look, man, I got updates all day and I I will continue doing this i'm back on the grizzly make sure you like share comment and subscribe to i smoke hip-hop live unfortunately none of this will bring young Dolph back or anybody else who died since the death of young Dolph. man look man rest in peace to the deceased i'm dj bless one thank you for watching another episode of i smoke 
hip hop live ladies and gentlemen love your family love your kids and stay blessed deuces